Right, we are going to be looking at 7.5 of the uh, HSC Grade 10 textbook. Um, and they're asking you to do an isometric view of these three views that are, have been given as a third angle orthograph projection. Right, step number one, I like to always start out and draw a fish tank in for myself. So here goes, let's just draw a quick fish tank um, as fast as I can with the major dimensions. The length, the breadth, and the height of the object I need to draw that fish tank. I think at this stage, you guys should know how to draw a fish tank. Um, finding the length, breadth, and height of the object. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Right. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, what does my front view look like? If you see over here, you see that you've got a line coming down here and a line going across there. That is automatically telling me that I have got an edge. Anything that is drawn behind that edge is further back from that edge. So get those edges in first of all. All right, so um, they tell you that it's 20 millimeters, so I measure off 20 millimeters. I come over, oh no, sorry, it's a scale. They say a scale, one is to two, so it's a 10 millimeter thing, 10 millimeters. I measure off my 10 millimeters, and I'm going to draw a construction line coming down first. And I can now, if I'm clever, I will be able to make a little mark coming from that corner, coming across, just a construction line. This distance from the base now will also be my 10 millimeters, which saves me time in having to measure. Note that idea. Once I've got that, I can come back and I can draw that in dark over there. And dark over there. The idea is to pick up little tricks to speed up your drawing. So there's trick number one. Instead of measuring twice, I measured once and I have got that distance over there without any issues. Right, as I said, everything beyond this, okay, like that little sloping line and this part over here, it is further back on this thing. How much further back? Well, let's just have a look. Um, it says over here that I've got this line over here, which if I drop down, you'll see is linked up to that slope. So this little part over here is the slope. Right, how do I go about doing that? Well, what I would suggest is just draw in that slope on your front view as a construction line. It says that I go 48 millimeters up, which is 24 if I measure it off as a scaled Story. I'm going to measure that off. And then it says that it is 80 millimeters going across over there. So I need to measure off my 40 millimeters if it's a scale drawing. And I can now draw in a little slope, but as a construction line. Okay, there's my slope as a construction line. But I need to move that slope back. How far back do I need to move that slope? I need to move it back. along these construction lines. All right? I need to move that slope back this distance over here that I'm getting off my top view. What is that distance? Well, they don't show it on the top view, but I can find it on my left view. And you see that idea? There's that distance going back. Take it across, drop it down. There it is. For some of you, it might be easier to try and get a 45 degree line going. Just going to show you how to do that. If we go to the answer, and you can do this in an exam. Remember the exam question is yours to do with, with whatever you like. Note what I did there. I drew a line out from that corner and a line out from that corner. And I can now draw a line going at 45 degrees using my 45 degree set square. Any line over here that doesn't have a dimension, I can take across and I can drop it down. And so you can link your left view over here to your top view over there. Does that make sense? All right. Very useful little trick that. Um, okay, what you need to do now is you need to take that, they say it's a ten, uh, 20 millimeter gap over here. And I'm now going to measure off that. Okay, scale it so it's 10 millimeters. There it is. And I now know where 
the starting point is. I'm going to move this line, the sloping line, across to that point over there. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to take my two set squares. I'm going to line my set square up with that line. I'm going to place this set square along the side of it. And I'm going to slide. Note that it's still parallel. And I'm able to draw a line going up there, which I can darken in straight away. Do I have another line further back? Yes, I do. If you look over here, there's that first line. There's the second line that I need over there or over there. All right. So I need to take it back. How far back is that? It says 32 millimeters, which is 16. So I measure of 16 millimeters from my point over there. I mark that off and I can line up my line again and I slide across and I draw a line going along there. There we go, there's our slope. Does that make sense? Okay, and once I've got that, well, we know that I can draw a line going over there. But now, what have I got? I've got two lines going into this corner, which means that I need a third line. Where's that third line going? Well, it's going to go back along there, so I can draw a line going back along there. But how far back does it go? Well, if you look over here, I have two lines going into that corner, which means that I need a third line. Where's that third line going? It's going down. I need a third line going down. There we go. And after that, well, then I need to uh, go up to the top over here. You can see that that corner goes up to the top. Where is the top? Well, I can take a line going across over here. And I can take a line going up from that corner. And I can then fix that up. It then has a line that comes across at the top. There's that line coming across at the top. Take that across at the top. And you can draw that in to the length that you get off there. That's 40 millimeters. You measure off. 40 millimeters with your pair of dividers. It then goes back. How far? It goes back. Well, we don't know. It doesn't tell you on this view with how far back it goes, but we can find that off this view over here. Remember what I said, the 45 degree line. Take it across. Take it across. Drop that down. Drop that down. Ah, come on. And you can see over there, there's 32. That distance over there, from there to there, is 32. So I go across 32 millimeters. There it is. And I then go back over here to, well, how did I get that? I can just draw a construction line going across there. So it goes up to that construction line. And I can finish that off at the top there. Finish off the top. go. Once I've done that, well, I need to have a sloping piece that's coming down. How do I get that slope? Well, I need to find that point over there. Can I do that? I can draw a line going up. How far up do I need to go? It tells you that you go up 48 millimeters. So you measure up 48 millimeters over here and you draw that line in. Boom. Do I have the two points? I've got that point now, I've got that point now, and I can draw a line going up between those two points over there. There it is. I then need to go across the 32, um, and uh, I think the easiest is just to draw a construction line going over there. Take your set square, place it over there, slide, and get that second point over there. You could measure across, and get that point, or you could just use that thing with you, you sliding the set squares. I find it easier to slide the set squares. It's very quick and very easy. Once you've got that, you drop a line down, continue out with that line over there, and then uh, you start counting the corners. One, two lines going into the corner. I need a third line, which comes across. Comes all the way across to this fish tank. There we go, there we go, and there we go. I need a line that needs to come out of that corner. One, two, three lines. 
coming out of that corner. And I've got this corner over here. I need a line coming down there as well. And I have got my drawing completed.